Galera, e o vídeo de hoje vai ser de os bugs, os principais, um dos maiores que já teve no League of Legends. Have you ever seen a Syndra straight up steal your Baron? Peraí, a Syndra, ela podia puxar o Baron. A, a Teemo placing unlimited mushrooms? Or a Nico turning to a turret in your lane and one-shotting your tower? League sucks. We all know it, and it's filled with game-changing bugs. Invisible! Invisible! <laughs> This is League of Legends history of exploits. In the beginning... Mano, vocês já tinham visto algum? Um desses, eu nunca tinha visto não, velho. Da Saidra poder puxar o Baron, da Nico transformar na torre e fazer a torre da Hit nela mesmo. O do cocô do time infinito, talvez eu já vi. Heimerdinger could load up turrets in base, blocking his minions from leaving. Then remove one of his turrets, Nossa. which would release an unstoppable wave of minions, winning every game. Blitzcrank had a global hook, which isn't really patched to this day. Caralho, hook global? And Poppy could push Baron using her E all the way back to base. Yeah, but with League just Cara, olha como era feio esse Baron antigo, galera. Que que era isso? They could push Baron. E a Pop antiga conseguia ficar empurrando. You see her E all the way back to base. Yeah, but with League just released, Riot were patching it up as soon as they could. However, Cara. in 2012, a player would discover a game-breaking exploit. Normally, Dorius E pulls all opponents' hit into his latest position. But in July, during a brief patch, a player discovered how to exploit that. If Dorius started a teleport back to his base and then hit E right before finishing the teleport. All opponents hit would be pulled. Que? Que? O Darius ele dava B, só que ele insta dava o grabzinho assim do nada. Ele puxava todos os bonecos, é inimigo. And then hit E right before finishing the teleport. All opponents hit would be pulled into his latest position, which was now in his base. That meant all enemies would be pulled back to fountain and instantly die. And that wasn't the only fountain problem, because by using a dash on any character, you ran the risk of going all the way back to base. Renekton on E. LeBlanc W. Que esse não, mas o que época de LOL é essa também, galera. Esse aqui era o beta do NA. Eu confesso que eu não joguei LOL nessa época aqui não, velho. Eu comecei em 2013. Or even Wukong E. The game was bugged. And in October of 2014, one of the worst. Ah, e era quando eu comecei a jogar aqui entre 2013, cara. A user by the name of Owned by Hyvan claimed he accidentally discovered that he could place an unlimited amount of Asir's towers in lane. No. But this wasn't the only mystifying thing, because by looking at his match history, he had seemingly accidentally discovered this in every game he played. 22 wins. Acidentalmente ele descobriu em todos os jogos. Bro, né? his elo had gone from silver 5 to plat in a matter of days. Riot patched up the exploit within a couple of weeks and owned by Hyvan was banned for abusing it. Which meant that from now on, Riot would ban you for willingly exploiting the game. But we gotta talk about 2015. Because LeBlanc and Syndra both had game-breaking exploits. By placing Cillian's ult on LeBlanc's clone right before his death, the clone would be brought back permanently. Unkillable, utilizing crit, lifesteal, and with full attack damage. Yeah, that's ridiculous. But that wasn't all. Cassandra could literally steal Baron. I'm not kidding. Riot mano, the bizarro esse aqui se realmente já teve, mano. Eu, eu não lembro de ter pegado um desse aqui não, velho. Chances were astronomically small, but they had to patch it up since those odds were still higher than your jungler actually hitting smites. 2016. Remember when Jace could two-shot any turret? When Ezreal Or had a hitbox this big? Or when Asir's Or against the wall would do this? Riot stood no chance. With a new map and a bunch of new characters, the bugs were out of hand. However, Caitlyn had the bug worse than any other. She could auto-attack with infinite distance. Yeah. A player named Rise of Fenris discovered that by clicking the enemy right as they stepped on the Caitlyn trap, then pressing space to return to character and instantly hitting E, Caitlyn would fire a headshot, hitting any trapped player she clicked on. The season had barely started and four champs were already disabled. Could anything be worse than this? The answer is yes, it could. And it was called the Lee Sin Invisibility Glitch. See, normally Lee Sin's Q has two parts. The first a projectile, and the second a dash to any opponent hit. However, in early 2017, r slash Lee Sin mains would discover something ridiculous. If the target hit with the first part of Lee Sin's Q was knocked up, and the timing was perfect, Lee Sin would go invisible. <laughs> For about 50 seconds. Q, R knockup, perfectly timed Q dash, invisible. 
Wait, where am I? Caralho. Good luck warding for a jungler literally off the map. And you know what else was off the map? Baron. Because by using Warwick's Q, you could slowly but surely pull Baron backwards. Yes, until you reach okay. whatever you pleased. Maybe spawn or a random bush. And that wasn't all. Because Sion players discovered how to fully control his R. Esse do Sion foi bizarro. Eu acho que ele chega nem ser bug. Era um script, não, guys? Um, um bush. Um And that was an R. Because Sion um players hack, discovered how to fully control his R. Ai, See, bizarro. normally, até hoje, né, his R goes in more or less a straight line, uh. slowly accelerating before knocking não, up and dealing a ton bizarro. of damage to any opponent's hit. So, you probably Ué, realize how broken it would be if you could fully control this. Vanderil, one of the most prominent bug catchers today, Day, made a video about it in 2019. However, when I was researching the video, I found evidence of it as far back as 2017. Ah, meaning that it took Riot over two years to patch up this. And while this was crazy, exploits and glitches happening in Mormons aren't that serious. But when millions of dollars are on the line, it's an entirely different thing. Let me explain. During LCS in 2017, FlyQuest engaged Cloud9 in a beautiful play to secure a kill on C9 support. However, Misfortune's alt didn't go off. Esse combo é um que eu e o Mairinho já fez, mano. Que o Malzahar chupa o cara e a MF chega metendo bala, velho. Os cara já fez o competitivo. Cloud9 quickly turned up. Olha lá, o Malzahar era sub mesmo. Play and instead got a kill on FlyQuest. Obviously an unfair situation. So what's Riot's move? Well, previously to this, they developed a tool called Chrono Break, allowing them to rewind the game back to a point before any bug happened, then unpause the game without the bug. So Riot pulled out Chrono Break, Misfortune's alt went off, and justice was served. You're probably wondering how this is an exploit. Well, let me explain. Back in 2018, Clutch Gaming were up against Echo Fox in the League Championship Series. And 32 minutes in, the game crashed. Quickly, Riot scrambled to use Chrono Break, but it failed. They couldn't recover the game. And that's when Riot made a controversial decision to give Echo Fox the win because of their 10,000 gold lead. The community was outraged. But how is this an exploit? You're probably still wondering. Well, do you want to win 2.5 million dollars? Simply get a 10k gold lead and then crash the game. Riot will simply award you the win. And let me put it like this, there is plenty of ways to crash League. 1. Lock in Viego, kill Rel, turn into her, crash. 2. Lock in Viego, have a teammate lock in Anivia, pressing on Anivia's wall, crash. <laughs> Type in Sheet Engine in your web browser, que? crash. 4. Briar, Herald, Ultimate, Hop in Herald, crash. 5. Lock in Talia or Cortus, Pick Smite, crash. League sucks. The champions, the balancing, the skins, even the coding. I mean, in 2019, you could literally walk through walls. I'm not kidding, just straight up go through them. I hate League of. Oh. Ah, aqui é bem isso mesmo, né? A gente fala que odeia LOL, que não sei o que, não sei o que lá, mas enquanto tá falando isso, tá na fila do LOLzinho e já vai jogar. But we gotta talk about the infinite team of mushroom glitch. Because you're probably wondering how one does this. Well, let me explain. Vandril, yes, Vandril again, he's like the bug guy in the League community. Shout out to him. Anyway, Vandril found an exploit on PBE, allowing zero cooldowns on any champ, which meant that Yasuo could infinitely alt. Spam his wind walls all around him. Mundo could infinitely heal by spamming his R. And worst of all, Timo could do this. And while all that's crazy, we gotta talk about the exploits ruining League today. Because there's a whole bunch. Only a couple of weeks ago, you could hit the Void Grubs, simply run back to base, and then kill them while regening under the fountain. Aurelian could spam his ultimate, because by holding W and spamming R out of range, his ultimate had zero cooldown. And not only that, but he could do global damage. Teve o da redenção? Qual que era o da redenção hoje? Era de usar de infinita? Não era? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why am I dying? Huh? Only a month oh. after that, you could get infinite damage on any champ yes. that scaled with mana. Literally era. infinite. Vandril discovered that by picking Picking the biscuit delivery rune, giving you biscuits in game, and then essa do biscoito teve recente, baby. Muita, muita teve uma galera que abusou. Selling baby. first biscuit you got, then clicking undo sell, League would give you a little bit of ah. extra mana. And if you kept selling and undoing, it would keep going up. This meant that champions who scale with mana could slowly increase their mana and then also damage to infinite, dealing infinite damage. Okay. On top of that, Saya. Nossa, é mesmo. O, Sa o Ryze era um boneco que a mana dele deu mais mana mais dano, né? Then also damage to oh, yeah. infinite, dealing infinite Nossa, damage. On top of that, Saya would literally get buffed by dying, because after her death. 
her cue would suddenly move faster. Look closely. Blitzcrank could well walk through walls. Se eu não me engano, tem um Dudu que o Dudu já mostrou nessa da Riven pegando o portal Hextech. Não tinha um que ele meio que atravessava a parede de uma forma estranha. Esse pá que os caras nem vai mostrar isso. Né? Riot still hasn't fixed the wall walkthrough bug. But if you think that's crazy, Sai. Quanto eu também? Aira can literally one shot Baron using a single ability. By placing her ultimate at max range, then flashing away, Baron will instantly get one shot. That's. Why? And the same exploit works on Lee Sin too. Because by kicking an opponent into the Baron, he will also deal ridiculous amounts of damage. And this brings us to the absolute latest exploit, found only 19 hours before I posted this video. Meaning that you could head in game right now and try it. Because they just broke Tom and Nunu. Normally, Nunu shorts up a powerful alt that explodes and deals. This I remember when it came out. I and Maylin were trying to do it on a day for flex to Maylin, but. Damage in the area around him. However, he has to stand in the same place. But as you probably understand, there is a bypass. If Nunu starts a recall and then cancels it by pressing R, and Tom Kench eats him at just the right moment, he can pick up Nunu and walk around. Which means that you can charge up the alt, then walk in and get the penta. But if you're planning to do this, be aware. It's extremely hard as the timing has to be perfect, and Riot might just ban you. When, now that I think about it, wouldn't be so bad. Maybe I would be happier if I just stopped with this league stuff, you know? Maybe you know what? Is. Maybe I'm gonna... Uh... <laughs>、Uh... Yeah,